Hey guys, Matt here. I'm going to show you guys how to insulate and completely waterproof a 1000 watt hub motor kit that I bought from eBay. The throttle has some hull sensors inside of it and uh, the bike has worked out really well for me um, except for one issue when I'm riding in the rain. Uh, every once in a while my throttle will just not respond at all or it'll go to full throttle when I'm not even touching the handlebars. Um, so there's some pulse sensors in the uh, handlebar throttle. So I'm going to show you how to insulate these and so then you won't have that issue. So what I'm going to do here first is I'm going to take a screwdriver. There's two screws and I'm just going to go ahead and standard Phillips screw and I'm just going to take these off. There's one. There's two. And then actually getting the plastic housing out, you actually don't need to take anything off of the handle. Um, you actually just need to pull apart the housing and you have to be really careful. Um, it's a very stiff plastic, so it will uh, crack very easily. Um, but there's also some uh, guides along here, so you have to pull it apart um, carefully and you should be able to get it out without too much of a problem. So pull from the bottom here and it'll kind of snap out. like so. So I've got the bottom half is completely out and you'll see here that's what it looks like. It's got that out. And so now what I'm going to do is essentially I'm going to go ahead and pull the rest of the top piece out. Um, and that should, I should be able to get access right to the hull sensors and the wires. So you gotta be real careful here because it's bent a lot. And so twisting it is actually an easy idea. There you go, and it's out. So now I've got full access to the wires and you'll see in here that uh, there's some there, goes underneath. We need to insulate that bare wire that you see here has absolutely no insulation over it. And then we'll go ahead and insulate those wires for the, uh, the switch. So what I'm going to use for insulating it is liquid electrical tape. Uh, stuff works really well and it smells awful. Don't need a lot of it. Just enough to cover the wires. Trying not to get it on everything else, but I also want to do a really good job of insulating as much as I possibly can. I'm going to cut this pretty well. Try to get it up into there. Make sure I can still twist the throttle with no issues. Now that I've got that. I'm going to move to the front and I'm going to get my little switch here. Liquid electrical tape is pretty stringy. Okay, I'll do just a little bit more. That should be good. I'm 
Okay. We're all set. Okay, now that the liquid electrical tape has dried, I'm going to go ahead and put the cover back on. And the easiest way to do this, I've found, is to basically put it farther out on the handlebars and then push this side up in. And then we're going to push that up where the LEDs are. This side is still farther out. We're just going to twist this up. And it should slide into place just like that. And then this side is also tricky. It should. Slide right in just like that. And then we just got to put the screws on and we're all done. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks. Uh, like and subscribe.